लिसन आई एम सो हैप्पी एंड प्राउड वॉट मोर कैन आई गेट इन लाइफ जस्ट इमेज टू सी ऑल ऑफ यू यू नो टूडे एस अडल्ट मैन एंड वीमेन हुम आई हैव सीन एस चिल्ड्रन इन यूनिफॉर्म रनिंग अराउंड द स्कूल टू सी ऑल ऑफ यू हैव प्रॉस्पर ग्रोन emotionally physically grown and again to connect with the relationship that we enjoy and that's an experience for me what has been your happiest moment with respect to choice school and what has been your toughest the best part is that i've never looked at it from uh, the perspective of making money <coughs> and uh, the, the the clean part is that me or the family we don't put our fingers into the financial side of organization run professionally and we don't interfere the day to day management the admin side is separate academic side is separate and they do their jobs so my happiest moment is when i go there and see the heartbeat of close to 3000 children and when they call me uncle jt and run around me nothing can make me more happier and that that's that's my silver lining for my life that is a time when the realization will be complete and fulfilled for what i have personally been chosen to touch 3000 alumni you know all of them very successful uh, doing very well i haven't heard anything untoward about a choice in anywhere in the world so that's the best part of it i think i answered your question all right okay who's next Oh, it is, but they would love to hear it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> My roll number in choice is ninety-one, and it's a proud moment, even after thirty years, uh, to be here and to be calling myself a Chawasian. I don't have a question for you, sir, because I've seen we've grown together. I think thirty years of my association with Choice. Um, I'd like to just thank you for your vision of starting the school, because of which all of us are here today. and for also uh, starting a school with um not just a school but it's been home for all of us for giving us such wonderful environment for each one of us to bloom in our own ways so it's been wonderful and i must share the story about when we were in the 8th standard and we went to we had an inter school competition and we won and we came back i don't know if anybody else was there and uh, joe thomas said he's going to host us to uh, a party and that's the first time we were allowed to go for a party uh, when i was in the 8th standard and he took us to his private yacht <laughs> and i must say uh, so it's been it's been a wonderful uh, experience i don't think any students would have had that so it's been wonderful uh, to be a part of a choice and thank you for showing us a life which was uh, beyond reality <laughs> well thank you very much for that thank you a very young age like as an entrepreneur So, what was the trigger? There must have been some motivation or a trigger. I have come to the conclusion of it. I think it is. It was not nothing that was planned. Uh, it came into me. So, I believe, you know, in you know our Creator guiding all of us. Uh, God can't walk on the street. So, God sometimes acts through some people. And I definitely believe that we transformed education in Kerala. We did. and perhaps that was the reason why i was chosen and i feel that it is a calling and that's nothing more than that and uh, for a person like christmas is just over i'm a christian it is like jesus christ being born in a major not in a five star hotel so i was chosen to be a person who was not qualified to start an educational institution that means it's nothing but calling Just nothing else, I, and I truly believe in it. I truly believe. It. To start something is an inspiration, but to continue it, maintain it, and have the same passion for it over the past thirty years is difficult. You said you're rich, Peter. So how do you maintain that passion and continue to do it so well for such a long? Time? Since most of you are not billionaires yet, and I wish all of you are a billionaire, I'll teach you one secret. How do you become? a person that becomes consistent and maintain the flow it doesn't mean that you have not had ups and downs to my thing is you got to be serious in what you do 
and you got to run the full mile you can't at work look at talking to your friends either by a chat and then come back to work because you will not get the energy that you need so in my case i follow certain practices uh, i wake up in the morning and 30 minutes i get a chance to be with my wife and during that time i just talk family and after that i don't see her she can't call me five times a day just as i how are you no way that doesn't work in 94 when alka was i don't know two five years old six years old most of them because of the choice air failure the choice group almost collapsed you were children you didn't know and i still make sure that our teachers were paid the and the electricity was on and the buses ran and there was no buses or held up for want of diesel it was such a collapse i have written my book now it is going to be published very soon it's called by choice uh harper collins the world's number one publishing company is going to publish that book i have written that very clearly how did i survive how did i survive it is only running the last mile and being honest in 34 years i can confidently tell you i have not created a bad reputation personally in terms of me getting raided by income tax or sales tax or gst or any violation even for speeding i had to live a righteous life because of you i had to be a role model i could not go up on the stage and talk how to be righteous unless i am righteous so in india especially you know this democratic nation you know the challenges that persist and exist in terms of getting the job done people talk about farming your hands we can't do all that choice group can't because how do i be talking to the seven year old child who calls me uncle jt their parents look up to me for being the model and on the other side i do things that are not acceptable for ethical reasons so it it, it did slow down our growth because we can't do many things what others can do and but i'm very happy uh, what i feel is what we have earned is what we have earned not crap so that way i'm very proud uh, and to continue the same process and today choice group is almost a half a billion dollar company put it back in shape where it is that is honesty and keeping that ethical practices